Hi there, everybody. I am so excited to be able to share having a Shazen facial. Oh my goodness, if I knew what I know now when I was in my 20s, I would have started looking after my face so much better. Look at this. Look at this. What's this? What's this? Crow's feet. Oh my word. What's this? Oh my word. Smiling wrinkles. And Oh, more wrinkles. Oh my goodness. But today we are going to be treating ourselves. And all of those wrinkly crinklies are going to find their way out of your skin. Now, what do you need for a facial? You can get yourselves one of these. It is a mirror for each person that is attending your facial. You get them at all these places that sell all the cheapy stuff. So this one I bought for 20 Rand and you can then just put it on the table next to your guest. So guest, do you have your, have you got your mirror? Then you must have a bowl. So I've got a, a metal little bowl here today. You can take a plastic bowl, any kind of bowl and fill it with nice warm water. And then we need to have something to tie our hair up with because we don't want all these wonderful products just to go sit in our hair and not on our faces. So get yourselves any kind of a, it can be an Alice band, it can be any type of band that can just keep, oh, I can't hear yeah, now. Okay, <laughs> let's fix it. There we go. Okay, so there I'm looking very smashing now with my headband on. Okay, so you need to have one of these. So Yes, have you got them? Right, you now also need to have a towel, a little hand towel, you'll see this one is small, so just a little hand towel to dry your face. Then you can also have a cloth. This is a muslin cloth, kaustuk, and then this here is a, a makeup removing cloth. I love my makeup removing cloth. If you don't have one, get yourselves one. You can also get it at the cheapy shops. Okay, so this is now to wipe your face off in the process. So what else do we now need? Well, we obviously need to cleanse our faces. So we need a cleansing cream. After we've cleansed our faces, we're going to exfoliate our faces. We need some kind of an exfoliator, which would then be the brightening enzymatic resurfacer, or it can be the balm, the deep cleansing balm. Then we also need our calming melting mask. Right, so that is for starters. So remember, this isn't something you're going to do every day. Every, every day, all you've got time for is cleanse, tone, bleh, there we go, day cream, night cream. But once a week at least, take some time off and give yourself a proper facial. So that's why you are here today at our party. Thank you for joining us once again. Right, so we are then also going to have something that puts water back into your skin. So I have the Cape Cactus Jelly here. You can also use the regenerating enzyme gel. We can have any type of serum that we need. I have the Radiant Serum as well as the Skin Tone Corrector. Then we need to have Facial Essence, which goes deep, deep, deep down into the subcutaneous um, layers of your skin. So that's there where the vessels meet your skin, the blood vessels. And I have our Rose Hip A Plus oil. Right. And then, of course, we need to have our floral hydrating mist. Something for the bags in the eyes and the lines on the eyes. And I have our anti fatigue eye gel, which contains cucumber and hyaluronic acid. Something for the bibbies. So we have Cellular Boost for Neck and Bust. And then we have our day cream to finish it all off with. Right, so you might not have all of these products, you might have some of them. So you will use what you've got. So what we're going to do first is if you've got any makeup on, you'll see I don't have makeup on because I decided this morning that I would do this as I wake up. So actually I've still got sleep in my eyes, so we'll clean that out. So here's the cleansing cream. I'm gonna put about 
a pea and a half size in your hand, rub it in your hands, and then apply it through your face. Oh, and you can just smell the rose, geranium, oh, and the jasmine, the neroli. Breathe it in because it makes you relax. So, right, so we've covered our entire face and remember this area here as well. So I'm now going to take my makeup removing cloth because I feel it removes the cleanser quite well. And I'm going to remove the cleanser. Now what's nice about this cleanser is that it actually removes eye makeup as well. Quick, quick, quick. And any makeup for that matter. So, oh, as fresh as a daisy. There we go. Oh, I'm so cleansed. Right. So, because we're doing what we would have done next in our quick, quick morning routine or evening routine, we would have used our hydrating floral mist. But we're going to be doing a, a bit of a fuller facial now. So, we are going to be exfoliating. My very, very favorite exfoliator is the Brightening Into Magic Resurfacer. So, it's a powder. So I throw it into my hand. There we go. And then I take a drop or two of water and I make a paste. So there. And I start gently. You don't have to scrub. You're not busy washing a dog. You just have to lightly go in circular motions and exfoliate the skin all over. Don't concentrate too much around the eye area. It's a very sensitive area. And then you just exfoliate in circular motions. Now, why do we exfoliate? Well, it doesn't help you using wonderful products on your face, but you're applying it to dead skin. You're not going to get the effect of your product. Sorry, my hands are dry, let me just wet them again. Okay, so what I like about this brightening in the magic resurfacer is it actually brightens the skin, it smoothens the skin, and it lightens the skin. It's got ginger in, it has um, rice powder in, it has pawpaw enzymes in, it has licorice in, awesome. Okay, so you can actually leave that on for a while so that it penetrates the skin. So it does its work to brighten and lighten the skin, but the best of all is the smoothness that your skin feels once you have actually applied it. So you can choose, you can either wash it off now, or you can just sit a while, have a little bit of a chat, a little bit of a chinny wag. You've got your, or you're with your friends there, so have your little chat while you're at it. Right, so I'm now going to remove the exfoliator. Now, one thing about this little exfoliator is that it's got a, 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 it likes to creep up into your nerves. So you need to clean out properly. Sometimes I'm standing at a shop and I feel, why does my nose feel so funny? And I do this and oh my goodness, there's dry rice powder on my nerves. Right. So let's just wipe again. Uh, oh, we've exfoliated the face. You can immediately feel the smoothness of your face. If you're using um, the balm, the deep cleansing balm, it actually has shea butter in it, which actually gives you like a layer of softness and it just gives your skin a little bit more hydration and soothing. And that really sticks to your skin, but it's a very, very fine, um, balmy kind of a exfoliator. Whereas this one is a more um, grainy one. If you've got a sensitive skin, you can actually put it into your cleansing cream and then scrub. Because um, some people um, have got very, very sensitive skins, but I find that I also have a sensitive skin, but I can use this one 
So it's really an amazing exfoliator. Right, so how you, how's your skin feeling? Oh, as beautiful as mine. Can you see the wrinkles have disappeared? No, I'm joking, not really. Right, so now we've exfoliated. So what we're going to do now is give our skins a mask. Now, what a mask does, it, it actually feeds your skin. So let's say, for instance, you eat food every day and you eat rice flakes, artapples, and veggies. And now one day you decide, okay, I'm going to start adding all those fruits and vegetables which they put in the triangle. Now, this is now all those wonderful fruits and vegetables that give you that little bit of extra. Okay, so this is our calming melted mask, also part of the phyto range. Oh, oh you must just breathe it in. It feels absolutely amazing. Right, so this baby helps for the fine lines. It rejuvenates the skin. It's got rosewood in and it's got chamomile in. And that's the chamomile that actually soothes the face. Now, what's, a, what's beautiful, I'm just gonna take some more. What's beautiful about this product is that it's only you've burnt yourself or you've burnt in the sun. If you give yourself this mask in the evening, let's say you burnt your face or even any part of your body, you can actually go to sleep with this on. You don't have to put any further product on. And the next morning you will just feel how beautiful your skin feels and that stinging is gone. So, oh, so now what you'll do is you'll just have a little bit of a chat. Your consultant is going to tell you how she got involved with Shazin and how at the end of the day, you are now sitting here with her. Just a little bit of my story. I, about five years ago, I joined Shazin to purchase products for myself. And then I started telling my friends about them and I started purchasing from another consultant for them. And that consultant said to me, why don't you join Shazin? I thought, oh, really? Okay, I'll join Shazin. And there I joined Shazin. And um, I started selling Shazin. And I started doing very good. But selling Shazin is very easy because you don't have to sell it. You just need to share it. And when you smell it, you guys have experienced it now as well. It just sells itself. And the feeling of it, it's sheer, sheer luxury. Made in South Africa. and it is just phenomenal. And it's really priced well if you think that it contains essential oils and plant extract. Okay, so then I started selling Shazin. And then about four years after that, I was asked to join as a team leader. And then I became a team leader. And after that, about probably two months after becoming a team, team leader, I was invited to become area manager so I never thought myself that I would be in sales it's not really something I was in chats I used to work for SARS so um, I thought no man how can I just switch like this and yeah we are I am not in the world of tax anymore I'm now in the world of sharing experiences with people like you and myself Okay, so I, we can keep the mask on for about 10 minutes. So you'll be chatting away with your consultant. And then we're going to take the mask off. Okay. So once again, you use your makeup removing cloth, or you will then use your muslin cloth, or you can use those little yellow sponges as well. Oh, the smell is just so uplifting. Oh, I feel like a million dollars. Right, so remember you can sleep with that mask on as well. So I'm going to take my bowl now and set it aside. Because I'm finished with my bowl. Okay, so you've still got your little mirror and you can check yourself out in your mirror. By this time you should be feeling, oh, you feel like you've just died and gone to heaven. So now we're going to continue with the rest of the routine. Okay, so this is something that you'll do now once a week or so. You won't do this every day. I exfoliate twice a week, sometimes even three times a week. If you're older, don't exfoliate too much because your skin gets thinner. 
Okay, so now let's have a little a bit of angel drops on our faces. So this is our hydrating floral mist. And what we do with this is we spray it on our faces and you just feel the aroma and it just, just makes you feel awesome. You can even carry this in your bag because it's so calming that some of you standing in the queue in checkers or pick and pay or wherever, and you getting a bit annoyed with standing so long, you can just spritz your face. Okay. So the purpose of the toner is to prepare your skin for the products that are going to come. So I'm going to then, they say you should wipe it off, but I don't really wipe it off. I feel I've cleansed my skin, but it's also there to actually remove the cleanser that's maybe been left behind. So be sure to smell just, oh, it's like in the aroma. And then you can take a cotton wool, I'm using this muslin cloth, and you can actually just remove whatever residue has been left on your skin from the cleanser. Right, so that, this is how we're now going to start. Let's start. Right, so after we're going to, we've done our toner, we need something for the dark circles and the baggies and the crow's feet and all those thingies. So I have the anti fatigue eye gel here, which has cucumber in, and you know, cucumber helps to let the swelling in the eyes go down. Now, this is a clear, you'll see that it's a clear gel. We also have the um, eye serum for the evening, which we call the eye rejuvenator. So we don't rub it like you're rubbing a baby's bottom. You just tap, 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 actually with your ring finger all around the bone area. Now you're going to say to me, Priscilla, but why do I not just rub it under my eyes? Well, what actually happens is it gravitates towards the, your eye area. So it goes there anyway. So you don't need to rub it too much. If you have a little left, put it here around your face, yeah, around by your mouth because that's where we also have little fine wrinkles. So that's going to be absorbing very quickly into the skin and it is then just going to um, just make your eyes just look a lot more radiant, not so tired. It's really an amazing, amazing product. So if you're wondering what to use in the morning and what in the evening, I would say you use the anti-fatigue eye gel in the morning and then you use the eye rejuvenator in the evening it's more like the serum kind of an eye gel or eye serum okay so we got our eyes sorted now okay so what is next right so we're going to do our water pot and that is the cake cactus jelly we form this or we harvest this in harmonis it's one of its kind now this, I, my son uses this as a moisturizer because boys don't like cream. So I'm just applying the water because you know what? Your skin needs water. But you must also drink some water. Don't just think this is going to be enough. Remember, we need to have at least eight glasses of water a day. Not only is it good for your system, but it is also good for your skin. Right, so there we have our water part of our facial. Now what we're going to do is we're going to then move on to have our serum. Okay, so I have a mark over here on my skin, which is a pigmentation mark. So I have the skin tone corrector, which has got black fermented tea in kiwi, so it's got vitamin C in, and I'm just going to apply it to this area. So some ladies have this on their foreheads, I'll just put it on there as well. So the skin tone corrector, you don't place everywhere, you just place it on those areas that need it. And whatever is left, put on your hands for those sunspots. I'm now going to use the radiant serum, because why? We want to be radiant. So our radiant serum also works on the fine lines and it goes through the epidermic layers 
and it goes and feeds. So I just use two squirts. One is probably enough, but I like lots. Right, so we're putting our hands and we're going to pat it. Pat it. It actually provides your skin with good nourishment. It's also got the rose, neroli, and jasmine, so it smells absolutely wonderful. So I hope you're drinking a little tea or a little wine at this stage in between all of this and really enjoying your facial. Okay, so we've got our serum. So what did we do? We cleanse, we tone, we put water on, a water-based product, and now we put our serum on, which is a plant-based product. So if it's the evening, you can put some facial essence on or if you have some dry skin. So I have a little bit of a dry skin. When you get a little bit older, you get dry skin. Now here I have our beautiful Rosy Pay Plus Oil. It's a facial essence and it goes all the way to the, through the skin, to the through the subcutaneous um, um, layers. And there where the skin and the blood vessels meet, Durr, down there, inside there. Okay, so. Our Rosehip A Plus, Rosehip A Plus is known for helping the scarring. It has, look at it, it's like, oh, it is just like a beautiful golden color. Right, so the best way is actually to just, in circular motions, apply it. Okay. And remember not to go under the eye area. So the oil just gives your face an extra lift. And now that we're in winter season or busy going out of winter season, our skins really feel it. Okay. Now what you can also do when you're putting your facial essence or your serum on, you can use a facial vacuum cup or you can use a rose quartz roller. If you don't know what that is, go Google it and you'll see what it is. Okay, so I've applied my rosy A plus oil. It has vitamin C in it, helps with scarring, it helps with pigmentation. It smells divine. It's got pomegranate seed oil in it. It's got apricot kernel oil in. It is just a phenomenal, phenomenal product. Um, rosy A plus is also used for cancer patients who get radiation and that's why this product is just such a such an amazing product. Ask your consultant. It is on special now in August and ask her about it. Right, so now we've done our oil part. And now what we can do is we can actually put on our day cream. So our day cream has an SPF 30 in it. And Yeah, so now you'll see I magically have some earphones on. My um, tenant's dog decided to go on a barking spree. So now I've just switched over to the earphones. So excuse the wires. Right. So I was busy talking about the day cream. It also has the no, the rose, the nose, oh, the rose, neroli, and jasmine. So you just put a small amount into your hand. Put it in your hands and press it onto your skin. Oh, it's just divine. And there we have our facial routine done and dusted. Oh my goodness. Now, in Shazen, we, we believe that we believe in natural beauty. So if you're using wonderful products from the earth, then you don't need to slap on so much makeup. So you're perfectly fine to go after you've cleansed your face, put some mascara on, lipstick doesn't help, you're going to need to use a mask, so leave the lipstick, make your eyes pop. And um, you can also put the flawless primer on. 
which you can just put it on on its own as well, if, um, or you can put it on before you put your makeup on. Okay, so I, I wish you a lovely, lovely time with your friends and having a party with the consultant that invited you. And um, she will also have some wonderful other products to show you that we have on special in August. Please ask as many questions as you want. Test out the products. Even if you don't want to buy them, just test them out because you can't say no to something you've never tried. And I want to thank you for joining me and for treating me to a facial. It has been such a pleasure. You must have a wonderful afternoon, evening, morning, whatever you, wherever you are, and enjoy your visit with all your friends and have a party and just have fun. Keep well. Thank you so much for tuning in.